Hey Libras, welcome to your reading. Just as a Christmas Day message for you guys, as a thank you for the support throughout the years or year or however long you've been with me. And if this is the first time you're seeing me, welcome. Let's see what the Christmas message is for Libra. I just want to give a quick thank you to you all and give back. I, do, I want to make the message as short as possible because I don't want to keep you uh, from your families um, on this wonderful Christmas day. Okay, we have new beginnings. The Fool here, jumping out first with the Chariot here. Um, so we have new beginnings, truth and triumph. I feel like this is a wonderful, I mean, we want to, it's, it's a wonderful start to the new year. It brings uh, excitement, joy, happiness here, all aspects of your life from children to your job and things like that will start to feel like they're now heading in the right direction. So a feeling of being content. Um, you know, it's been a rough year or a couple of years for us all, but we're now seeing that, you know, with this leap of faith, things seem to be going in the right direction. <laughs> um, I'm loving it. Um, Chariot is about redirections and new approaches to life, the truth, um, even new beginnings. You're looking at things very differently here, or you soon will be, guys, okay? There's this, like I say, aspect of joy coming to your life in all areas. Really wonderful here, because I'm really looking at the fool where she stood on the world, so I'm taking it your whole world um, is, you know, going to be full of new, exciting beginnings. Wonderful. This is what we like, right? And all the time, we don't like change as humans, um, but they're usually for the better. Let's see. Ten of Wands, yeah. Letting go of all this now, um, this burden, this weight, even I feel maybe a depression getting some people down um, towards the end of the year. But if you're feeling lonely and things like that, it's all about to change. This Ten of Wands is a huge shift coming to your life. You're heading in the right direction. It might feel like this is not going right for me, but it is, I promise you. You're just not seeing what's lying ahead here. You're not seeing the truth, but it's about to be revealed to you. Um, so that's wonderful. It will all, <laughs> Nine of Swords, yeah. In true Libra fashion, you are worrying out of proportion, overthinking this. This is unfounded fear. Maybe even suffering in silence, keeping all these feelings to yourself. But I promise you, this change is about to happen. So this feeling won't last long. Today's message here is that, you know, this is about to change. This is the end of this feeling. We can see the sun setting on this card here. Um, a new day is dawning, so don't worry. No need to worry here. Look at that. We go to the Nine of Pentacles now, uh, where this beautiful, fresh energy, strong, powerful. After you've grown, we, you know, there's a big difference between the Nine of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles, right? Where you're worrying and it's worrying about nothing because now look at you looking fabulous with the Nine of Pentacles. These changes are good for you. Um, a good change in money as well. Um, don't know how long you've been with the channel, but, you know, I told you guys, um, that even with my son, there would be good money energy coming in for you guys and promotions, getting new jobs, things like that. Um, becoming more self-sufficient and independent. Wonderful. Uh, three of Swords, Princess of Swords and the World card. Some of you are closing down a cycle that hurt you. You're looking back at this heartache to say, you know, what I've learned from it, but I'm closing the door on it here with the world card. This is somebody closing the door on that cycle that we spoke about here of pain, of burden. Um, you've learned what you can from it with the Princess of Swords. The pages are about learning. Um, so you've learned what you can from this heartache and you're going to close the door on it now. You may look at it one last time uh, because, you know, it is the season where we're feeling 
um, and thinking about being with family and friends and I loved ones so I feel like you're looking back on this heartache and really putting it to bed here the nine of swords don't worry about it you will gain a lot from this a new direction a new approach to how you're looking at this opens up the world and we see the world again and the world up here um, so it opens up new possibilities these changes to come into your life now strength wonderful yeah six of wands wonderful this is attracting everybody to you once we can stop this overthinking right this uh strength card i call it mental pruning so the minute those negative thoughts come into our mind uh we want to pluck them out right because we see now you've overcome this spiritual lesson these challenges and it's why we can close the door on it and begin a new positive cycle of success and recognition here uh, somebody's very attracted to you. I just want to know if you're single, single with that nine of pentacles down this side. Um, you're single, single. Somebody's attracted to you and they're going to make you a love offer here. For others of you, um, you may put to bed some sort of heartache and message or somebody may message you and sort of like, um, you know, we're over this now. I I'm glad we experienced it. Um, but it is what it is. It's put to bed and you get your power and your strength back by being able to have that conversation with somebody. Like I said, I'm trying to keep these very short um, messages because I want to get every sign a message out just as a Christmas bonus uh, and a thank you. So let's see from your Oracle card. There is nothing sexier than my authentic truth. There is nothing sexier than being you. Everybody else is taken. Merry Christmas, guys.